Lady Emily Shackleton, 1868 to 1936. Emily was born to a large wealthy family in Sydenham, Kent. She was born in an era where it was considered unsuitable for a woman of her class to work and so she was destined to be wife, mother and homemaker. Emily met her husband Ernest Shackleton in 1897 on his return from an expedition to the South Pole and they married. Emily spent much of her time alone with the children whilst Ernest was off on expeditions or lectures. There was no telephone or ship radio, so news would only come via land telegraph or letters many months after the event. It was Emily's charm and connections which helped to raise the funds for the expeditions, but also in preventing the family becoming destitute. Ernest had a tendency to give the money he was paid for lectures to good causes, forgetting his family. Thankfully, Emily's annual allowance looked after the family, but she didn't encourage the fairy tale of women living happily ever after in marriage. They lived at 14 Milthorpe Road, Eastbourne. Ernest would moor his boat off the pier before he went away on expedition. During World War I, attitudes changed towards women. This was because with so many men away fighting, women had to step into their jobs. Women had the chance to show what they were capable of. On her own yet again, Emily made a life for herself joining the new Girl Scout movement. At first the guides were seen as controversial as people thought it encouraged girls to join the women's suffrage demonstrations. But when it had the support of the royal family, who Emily was good friends with, the guide movement became acceptable in polite society. Emily became the Eastbourne Divisional Commissioner and continued being an active member of the Guides even after her husband died on his last expedition, leaving his family in debt to the tune of 1.5 million in today's money and reliant on charity. If Emily was alive today, what do you think she would be doing now? How about head of fundraising for the RNLI, a diplomat? Or perhaps she really wanted to be an explorer herself and would be off making new discoveries in the Arctic or the jungle.